Taurus, what is up? Welcome to your lab reading for July 6th through the 12th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Taurus out there. You're not all living the same life. So if it doesn't resonate, just check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. All right, overall energy for Taurus. The Five of Swords reversed. Hopefully you guys can hear me since I'm outside. I'm not sure. We'll see. It's just way too nice to be in the house, guys. Recent past for Taurus in love. Nine of Swords. <clears throat> I will show these to you guys again when I read them, okay? I know you can't see them when they're on the table when I'm out here, but... You will get to, so no worries. Present energy for Taurus in love. Seven of Swords reverse. You guys have all air here so far. Future for Taurus in love. Ooh, nice. The star. More air. <laughs> Aquarius energy. Potential obstacle for Taurus. More air. Queen of Swords. You guys are literally all air for the beginning of your spread. This is nuts. A whole lot of mental shit going on for you right now, I would imagine. <clears throat> okay. All right, here we go, Taurus. So your overall energy. For me as a reader, the overall is always the person that I'm reading for. So this would be the energy that you yourself are taking on during this week in love everything else here is interchangeable it can be for you or the person that you're dealing with outside influences all that kind of stuff okay so your overall energy you have the five of swords reverse so you're coming out of conflict if there's conflict around you you're not engaging in it you're just not taking part in it um there's probably somebody that's trying to argue with you trash talk you engage you in some sort of conflict and you're just not having it clarify the five of swords for Taurus. Oh, the Three of Swords. More air. What is going on, guys? Are you guys heavily dealing with an air sign or what? Anyway, the Three of Swords. So, there is some heartbreak here. There is some, some kind of hurt, whether it's actual cheating, I don't know. Could be. Um, but you're definitely feeling hurt and heartbroken over something here, like somebody betrayed you. But you also don't want the drama that comes with it. You kind of just want to be left alone so that you can deal with it. <clears throat> Let's clarify the Three of Swords. What is this Three of Swords for Taurus? What is the Three of Swords for Taurus? The Eight of Wands. Okay, so... This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But, so if someone hurt you and you just are not trying to deal with their drama anymore, you might have found out that they were talking to somebody online. Um, it definitely could be cheating with this card. This is actually Cupid's arrows. So it is upright, um, but you're heartbroken. So it might be that you found out that they were talking to somebody else or doing something with somebody else. Um... Or you want to, or you're ready to just move on and communicate with someone that didn't break your heart, basically. This is a lot of communication, a lot of action. Um, could be travel, but it's a whole lot of action, a whole lot of passionate communication. <clears throat> it's like you're kind of ready to just get out of there and get away from the heartbreak, basically. All right, recent past, the Nine of Swords. Again, more air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but this is anxiety, depression, sleepless nights. Now, whether this is you or them, I don't know. But it's somebody in a really bad place. It's in your recent past, so hopefully whoever this is has gotten over it by now. Um, if not, there's some serious healing that needs to happen here. This is somebody who's having some really, really um, significant issues. And I'm going to say mental issues, but I just mean like mental issues. doesn't have to be a mental illness. Like anxiety depression you know what I mean probably not eating or sleeping 
Now in your present energy, you have the Seven of Swords reversed. Again, more air. They're all air so far, so just keep that in mind. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But um, this is somebody getting caught, lying, cheating, stealing, whatever, or somebody confessing to it. Whether it's you or them, something's coming out about someone. Somebody was being deceptive and they got found out. And that's probably why you're heartbroken up there. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Reversed. Strength. Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo. Some deception surrounding a Leo could have come out or... You know, you're just being really strong despite this deception, despite the heartbreak. You're really trying to be strong about it and move on with that Eight of Wands up there. Clarify strength for Taurus. Clarify strength for Taurus. The strength is kind of like taming the beast as well. So when you found out what this person did or they confessed or even if it's you doing it um you're kind of trying to keep yourself under control so that you don't snap out and get caught up in the drama surrounding it clarify strength for taurus the sun reversed oh more leo energy but um <clears throat> it's reversed guys so there's still a lack of clarity here and this this is a sadness type of card so the, the sun reversed if I could speak that would be so cool um, anyway the sun reversed is like sadness lack of clarity there's things that you don't see there's things that are not out in the open so somebody may be confessing something or getting caught but there's still some things that that aren't clear yet like maybe why this happened maybe why this person did this or you you know whatever um, Actually, I'm going to clarify the Sun Reverse, too. The Sun Upright is the happiest card in the deck, but it's reversed for you guys. I'm sorry. I wish it was a better one, guys. I do. Okay. Generally, though, love tarot readings aren't that great, because if our love lives are great, then we don't need to watch tarot readings, right? We don't need any clarity on a situation that's already good, so that's why it comes out this way. I hate that, you know, most of them suck, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> Clarify the sun reverse for Taurus. The seven of wands reverse. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, um, okay. There's a need for someone here to stand their ground. Like somebody's feeling like, um, I don't want to say like overly defensive because it's needed here. Somebody needs to defend themselves against something. Somebody really needs to stand their ground here. Um, like somebody here really needs to be on guard. Okay. In your immediate future, it does get better, I promise. You have the star, this is Aquarius energy, but this is healing from the universe. So all of this shit that you're going through right now, there is healing coming in. And this is in the immediate future. My weedings, my weedings, oh my gosh. Now I'm going to have to keep saying it, my weedings. <laughs> my readings for love are only a week out. So this isn't, you know, 10 years down the line or something. This is your immediate future. So it's major healing from the universe. It's universal help. You know, whatever it is that you want to manifest, do it. <clears throat> because this is strong energy for manifestation as well. It's rejuvenation. It's replenishment. It's healing all of this shit that you're dealing with right now. Could also be an Aquarius coming into your life. Let's clarify the star. Clarify the star for Taurus. Oh, the Five of Swords. Okay, you now have the Five of Swords twice. In your overall, it's reversed, right? Now here in the future, it's upright. More air again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is drama. This is petty conflict. And it's not reversed anymore in the future. So 
right now you're kind of taking on this energy of you don't want to deal with the drama you don't want to participate in it you know you're hurt you just want to move on quickly um, but here in the future it's it's like you end up getting caught up in the drama so watch out for that with this healing energy here somebody might just be mad that you're trying to heal and trying to you know rebuild and whatever and they try to pull you back into the drama just don't let don't let that happen clarify the five of swords what is this drama about for Taurus clarify the five of swords for Taurus the eight of pentacles reverse it's repeated patterns when it comes to love um, it can be financial issues you know drama over finances drama over somebody working too much um, it, but it can also be just repeated patterns in love it's earth energy by the way so you guys as well as Virgo and Capricorn but it's like repeating the same argument over and over and never getting anywhere okay so watch out for that to come up as an issue your potential obstacle the Queen of Swords air Gemini Libra Aquarius there could be an air sign that's detrimental in your relationship you could definitely be dealing with one by the looks of this reading um, or this is just a person who's um, I don't want to say cold and detached because it's not that Queen of Swords has emotion she just doesn't let her life be ruled by her emotion um, she bases her decisions on logic and fact and not her feelings basically um, but it's a need to cut out any bullshit in your life anything that isn't real anything that isn't true and obviously we do have some deception and some drama here so it's a need to cut all of that out of your life all right what are you hoping for Taurus what is Taurus hoping for in love the six of cups Oh, okay, so you're hoping, this is a very nostalgic card, soulmate energy, but it's past soulmate energy. So you're hoping to go back to a time when things were easier, things were lighter. You might be hoping um, that things work out with a past person. Um, you may just be hoping for like a lighter type of relationship where it's more playful, you know, not so serious, not so dramatic. Um, and it could also have to do with kids. Actually, I'm going to clarify that one. Clarify the Six of Cups for Taurus. It's water energy, by the way. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Clarify the Six of Cups for Taurus. Oh, the King of Cups. Nice. Okay, so you, it looks like you're hoping for things to turn around with a past person. Possibly a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, or you're just hoping for a lighter, more playful, more innocent connection. And with the King of Cups here, this is a very loving, compassionate person, very spiritual, very paternal. It can be male or female, it doesn't matter, but very in touch with their emotions, very emotionally available. All right. What are you afraid of, Taurus? What is Taurus afraid of in love? Death reverse, Scorpio energy. Um, are you afraid of a Scorpio that's out of sorts? <laughs> Anyway, death reverse. So it's like you're afraid of nothing changing. You're afraid of things staying the way that they are. Um, so you might want things to end and you're afraid that they won't. You're afraid that you're going to get pulled back in. Um, or you know that things need to change, but you're afraid that they're not ever going to. You're just going to be stuck in this place where there's no change. There's no transformation, no ending. So there's no new beginning. You're afraid that you're going to get stuck there. All right, <clears throat> clarify death reverse for Taurus. Ooh, in the graph. All right, guys. Justice, Libra energy. 
you have a lot of majors here, guys. All right, anyway, so as a fear with death, this can be a marriage or a divorce. You're afraid that things are not going to be fair, they're not going to be balanced, they're not going to be equal, and nothing's going to change. Like, you want things to be equal. You want things to be fair and balanced, and you're afraid that that's not going to happen. If you feel like somebody's owed some karma because they did some shit to you, you're afraid they're, that they're not going to get it. All right. <clears throat> so, um, there could be, if there's a third party situation here, I would say it's involving a Leo or a Libra. FYI. All right. Advice. Advice for Taurus. The chariot reversed. Cancer energy. My gosh, you guys have... Who do we have here? Leo twice. Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, and now Cancer. So many majors. Alright, so with the chariot reversed as an obstacle, or not as an obstacle, as advice. Um... It's not time to move forward with this connection right now. There's some blockages here, like everything just kind of came to a halt, right? So you need to take a minute, um, at least with this connection right here. If you're considering traveling with the person, it's probably not happening anytime soon. If you're thinking of moving in with the person, probably not happening anytime soon. There's just, there's some delays here. Um, there's some blockages. There's some things that need to be overcome first. And if you're dealing with a cancer, they're probably not in their right state of mind. I don't think the signs are relevant in the advice position, but if it works in your world, then cool. Clarify the chariot reversed for Taurus. King of Pentacles reversed. So this is you guys reversed, right? Um... So it doesn't look like it's time for a serious commitment right now for you. There's, it's just too unstable. Um, this is like my ex-husband card. Doesn't have to be an actual marriage. Doesn't even have to be a man. But it's lack of commitment, lack of loyalty, lack of stability. Could be some financial issues. And it's causing you to have to just stop where you're at right now. And take a look at the situation and figure out what you want to do about it. Okay. All right, Taurus, I will talk to you um, in a little bit for your general reading.